That's just weird. Hi everyone, we're back with another bizarrely specific archery question. Today's question is, can you mix and match limbs? And what I mean by this is, can we swap limbs around, both with each other? Can we swap different brands of limbs? And can we swap in different draw weights? Now the monstrosity I have here is a bow with a what, 34 pound set of limbs, or one limb on top, and a 30 pound short limb on the bottom. So these are quite different limbs. Uh, and what well, the question is, what well, can I do that? Assuming I've got a string that fits, uh, I could do this, but it's going to perform much differently to what you might expect. Unfortunately, I can't show you. I don't have a setup where I can show you the speed or the flight of the arrow on target, um, and the results can be a little unpredictable. But what I will do is talk through what will happen, and this will be perhaps more fascinating for the theory side of things, and I'm sure there are people who've done this in practice and will share experiences below. But let's talk through why mixing and matching limbs can and can't work. Firstly, let's make sure we understand what the limbs actually do. Now here I've got a club bow. Uh, we've named this Ninja due to its color scheme. Ninja used to be a little twitchy, now it's a bit of a mix. Now Ninja is special in our club because Ninja is one of the few bows that we still have from before our burglary. And the reason why this one's a bit of a mix is because it has two bottom limbs, on the bottom and on the top. Uh, and the reason why I've done this is because uh, the bow unfortunately did not have a full set of limbs that were functional. I think one set had a crack in the limb. So we had to repurpose a second limb from a different bow to make this a complete bow. Now, of course, we can string it. And by the way, it will work. So while I didn't have any issues with hitting the target at close distance, the further back we go and the higher the demands, the less this setup will be satisfactory. Now, we are talking about having the same poundage, the same draw weight with two bottom limbs. This will get worse as we mismatch more things, such as different lengths or different draw weights. The greater the difference, the more impact it will have on the arrow. Let's talk about why this happens and what the role of the limbs actually is. Now, most archers will understand that limbs are there to store energy. By pulling back on the string, the limbs are placed under tension, and by letting go of the string, the limbs return into position and transfer that energy into the arrow and project it forwards. This works on the principle of synchronization. The limbs need to come together at exactly the same time to guarantee the best possible arrow flight. Should one limb accelerate faster than the other and therefore reach its final point or its starting point before the other, it will launch the arrow in an imbalanced vertical axis, leading to the arrow dropping really low or going really high. Now in this case, with two 20 pound limbs, which are both bottom limbs, this isn't going to be a huge difference. Because these are both 20 pound limbs for this particular model bow, then it's going to basically function the same way. Do note, however, there is a difference between top and bottom limbs, which is why you see most bows with limb sets mark top or bottom. The reason is, the bow is designed for us to hold in the middle. However, when we shoot, we rest the arrow above the midpoint. So when we pull back, we actually are pulling off center. Because of this, bow designers have to factor in this slight offset and then design the limbs so that they are tilted or shaped um, to be slightly different. Otherwise, that slight offset from the center grip to where the arrow is placed is going to cause a desynchronization one limb will reach resting point before the other. Therefore, you will see, especially along longer distances, um, that mismatch and that incorrect arrow flight. It can be compensated for by adjusting the knocking point, so you can actually get a decent tune with slightly mismatched limbs, but it's not ideal. Now, let's assume that we have a top and bottom limb. The top limb is, say, 
20 pound, the bottom limb is 18 pound. Now we've done this before um, as an emergency measure to replace a broken limb. Um, it, again, it can work. You can um, make the bow work for the purposes we need it for. In this case, a 10 meter beginner line but you will start seeing greater disparities as the weights differ more. So what changes? Let's say uh, with 20 pounds here and 18 pounds here, the top limb with more energy is going to accelerate faster and therefore reach its point before the bottom limb. For a two pound weight difference, that's not gonna be that much of a gap. So you won't see a huge difference. But if the top limb is say, 50 pounds and the bottom limb is 20 pounds, that top limb will snap back into place much sooner than the bottom limb. Therefore, if you imagine someone pulling back such an imbalanced bow, you will find the top limb will snap back into place perhaps even before the bottom limb has even started moving. And because of that, the arrow will not be pushed out in a straight line. Again, it is possible to some degree to compensate for the offset by adjusting the knocking point, but such a large difference is almost not possible to compensate for. In essence, with such a big mismatch, the arrow is simply going to kick off the rest and flop the ground. On a side note, what if you have similar limbs but different manufacturers? Again, if you're looking at, say, two sets of the same length 30-pound limbs, then you will expect a reasonable amount of similar performance. However, do note that each manufacturer will have different specifications for their limbs and therefore each will perform slightly differently. So yes, you can shoot with mismatched limbs from different manufacturers, but it won't perform exactly the way it's supposed to or the way you think it would. You may have to compensate due to the inherent mismatch and different speeds. So if you do have a mismatch set, for example, you might have a broken limb or you've somehow lost a limb, then you can use an, a similar limb um, as a stopgap emergency measure, but uh, it's better that you replace the limb with a different set as soon as possible. Uh, that's my advice. Hopefully that gives you some insight as to how these things work. And again, small bizarre question which hardly anyone will ask, but those who are wondering, I hope that answers your question. This is New Sensei. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.